here in the States, we have like a lot of developed areas, neighborhoods, subdivisions where you have like these houses. There's none of that there. No. Which I don't know if people know that like most European countries are like that though, right? Subdivisions? No. They don't have any of that. Well, I've never really traveled to rural parts of different countries. Yeah. Most of them. Well, even on top of that, they have sections where it's houses more would like, be. Yeah. It's more like sections. You don't have these like. like nobody's almost paying like HOAs. Neighborhood. <laughs> nobody's, yeah. nobody's getting so email like because your camper is up front yeah. too long. Like yeah. that's not a thing. Yeah. It was interesting for me to see because when we drove from the airport, the airport's located in Thira, which I don't think people really stay there. It's more of just like this. It's the capital, I believe, but it's. I think just the airport is there. There's nothing right. really around. Right. And when you drive, you kind of, you're driving along, you kind of drive around the, along the coast, but mm -hmm. you will ju you'll just like see these random houses on like the cliff or mm -hmm. like on the hillside. And they're just like so sporadic. It right. was just really interesting for me to see. Yeah, for sure. That they're not, they're not like in neighborhoods like we're used to. And that's just something that's like, uh, such an american thing i thought of i was like that is really a, a, such an american thing it's like these like neighborhoods and these subdivisions that right. have names <laughs> so one of the one of the most common youtube questions i get is anytime i have uh, uh somebody who follows me on youtube from another country right the comments are always like american homes are made out of paper mm. why are they made out of paper our homes here are made out of brick they're made out of stone and I sat down with some of the locals over there. And when they say paper, they mean wood. They mean like wood and drywall. Yeah. They think drywall is paper. paper. And they <laughs> think it's like a paper Which, origami thing. Yeah. And I, I sat down with some of the locals. They saw that I had a YouTube channel. They saw what I do for work. They saw I remodel houses. And they're like, why, do you, why is it made out of paper? And I was like, well, what you guys don't understand is you guys have seasons that would have hurricanes. You will have uh, only hot seasons. You don't have any cold seasons. So you have to figure out how to build structures that can keep the houses colder. So their houses are smaller and they're all made out of cinder block or mm -hmm. stone period or brick. That way it stays cooler. And anytime they can, they want to build inside the cave for that shading and the cooling. And you want to create that structure that will prevent any kind of hurricane or the, you know, damage from the water mm -hmm. from any mm -hmm. kind of tropical storm, storms or whatnot. In the States, depending where you live, like where we live right now in, in Idaho, we have both hot seasons and cold seasons. So the way we build them, it has to be a structure that can keep it cool, like stone would, but also hot the way stone would, could not, in or warm in the, the, yes. the winter months. When it's like yeah. 20 degrees outside. Yeah. Minus, minus 10 Fahrenheit sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And so you have to be able to play that. Second of all, you don't, we don't have where we live crazy storms and winds that will, the big bad wolf will go and blow your house down. So why overbuild with stone, which could keep your house cool, but not keep it warm in the winter time. So the insulation part is missing. W there's no need to overbuild and we have to be able to play both sides of the, the temperature climate. Uh, and then because that's the case, when you f land on, you know, using wood and two by fours and insulation and drywall and you accommodated both climates, well, at that point, you now have the ability to also modify your house. So mm -hmm. if you outgrow your income tax bracket and you go, maybe I wanted to add on to my house instead of moving because I have primary real estate, you can. You can knock down a wall and add on to it and you have a mother-in-law suite if you wanted. Mm -hmm. You can put a second floor if you wanted. You can't do it with some of these structures in Europe. Some of these structures in Europe are nothing but cinder block or brick put together and they're just kind of stuck it. in it. Yeah. You want to move away, sell it and then find a different place. Mm, that's so interesting. That's that's my answer to why. How how much more expensive is it to build with like brick or stone than what we have here? I don't know how much more expensive. I mean, brick and stone is very expensive. But when it comes to building a structure, you always have to consider there's an overall price point, which the price point's always like all together. So right now, the going rate for per square footage, and that includes your lumber, your drywall, your insulation, your electrical, your flooring, whatever it is. Roofing per square foot is roughly around three hundred fifty dollars per square foot. Right, it's a lot of money. It used to be two hundred fifty square foot uh, per square foot um, ten years ago, maybe. Um, so I don't know. Stone is very expensive, and two by fours are a lot cheaper than stone. So right. you have to kind of play it by mm -hmm. that. That's that is very interesting because they even told us um, the locals that 
they don't they don't get like rain really ever mm-hmm. there which mm-hmm. is so interesting so it's like everything is very you don't see like green grass mm-hmm. nope there's no green grass and everybody in europe is using bottled water because they have plumbing in their house but that plumbing he, the pipes were so old yeah. that you only really use it for like laundry or maybe rinsing off dishes yeah. but everything else you're cooking with everything's bottled water, bottled yeah, water. you go to those you go to any restaurant mm-hmm. they will bring you bottled water bottled water yeah. you see people um if you know bringing cases of bottled water to their houses yep and another interesting structural designs there was because their houses are small they're white all of them are white and it's not because everybody agreed on it looks uh, the color. pretty <laughs> yes it's it's a it's an energy efficient thing it reflects the 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 heat yeah. off the so it's more of an energy efficiency thing and then on the roof they all have one i don't want to say giant but one solar panel that's that looks like roughly like a four by eight that's what it looks like four by eight feet and it's it's got a, a it's cell like a, cylinder. a round cylinder cell and that's that's the battery and that's for just heating water mm-hmm. so essentially they have running i power to the places but to heat up water th- they're using the solar powered panels that's on every house mm-hmm. they're not attractive they're sitting at a 45 degree angle yeah the houses are all have either flat roofs or like round over roofs and then you have this like 45 degree it looks like an eyesore yeah but um it's, it's very like efficient yeah, yeah it's very efficient yeah what would you say um your favorite thing was about uh our trip our trip the hands down it was the parasailing thing not the parasailing what is it called the, the, <laughs> not a parasailing thing it's a uh, catamaran God, i hope Cata- not catamaran, catamaran. <laughs> parasailing is not that fun no. Ca- the catamaran <laughs> the that catamaran. we rented the catamaran cruise around was, the island things are, i would say that was probably my top as well hey thanks for watching our next door neighbors podcast and be sure to capture the full episode anywhere podcasts are streamed and including our youtube channel next door neighbors